Hello and welcome to this video tutorial showing how to measure and image graphene on the Edinburgh Instruments RM5 confocal Raman microscope. Graphene is a one atom thick allotrope of carbon, often termed the wonder material because of its remarkable electronic, thermal and mechanical properties. For this reason, it's found use in various technologies, including sensors, energy storage, electronics, composites, coatings and biomedical applications. In part one, we will show you how to measure the Raman spectrum of graphene and discuss how the various spectral features allow for a detailed analysis of the material. In part two, we will demonstrate how Raman imaging can be used to track layer number, strain, and the presence of defects across graphene samples. To begin, let's get a graphene sample ready for Raman spectral analysis. Today, we will be analyzing graphene films grown on silicon wafers. The highly polarizable electronic structure of graphene makes it extremely well suited to study using Raman, and the technique can provide high levels of information about the material rapidly, non-destructively, and with zero sample preparation. All that's required is that the sample is brought into alignment under the microscope and we're ready to go. Now we can set up our spectral measurement. Graphene is best analysed with a 532 nanometer laser because of the resonance enhancement provided, which improves signal to noise ratio. A 638 nanometer laser may also be used, but the signal to noise ratio provided with this laser is lower. Graphene is only one atom thick, so it is important that the laser power is not too high that the sample becomes damaged during spectral measurements. To prevent burning, we will use the fully automated laser attenuator to reduce the laser power on the sample to 20% of the power at the source. We will also select a high groove density diffraction grating to ensure we obtain a high resolution spectrum. The features of interest in the graphene spectrum fall between 1300 and 2700 wave numbers, so we will center the grating at 2100 to ensure the features of interest are detected. We will also close the slit to improve the spectral resolution even further. We can now set the acquisition time which for these components should be a few seconds, and then click Accept to record a spectrum. This is a typical spectrum of graphene. The most common modes found in the spectrum are the G-band, the D-band, and the 2D-band. The G-band represents in-plane stretching vibrations within the sp2 bonded hexagonal lattice of graphene. The position and intensity of this band indicate the number of layers present in the sample, as is shown in spectra of monolayer, bilayer and trilayer graphene films. These plots show that a decrease in the peak position and a simultaneous linear increase in intensity can be used to indicate an increasing layer number. The G-band position is also sensitive to other parameters such as strain. Therefore, this parameter alone should not be used to determine layer number. The D-band is only present in the Raman spectrum of graphene where defects or disorders in the lattice structure are present. It is symmetry forbidden in pristine graphene, and the intensity of the D-band can be directly correlated to the amount of disorder in the region probed. The final band we will discuss is the 2D-band, the other main permanent fixture in the Raman spectrum of graphene. This is an overtone of the D-band, but it is not associated with defects. It originates from a two-phonon intervalley scattering process, and it can also be used to identify the number of layers in graphene films, because the position and width of the band change as the number of layers increases. This concludes part one of the Graphene Raman Virtual Demo. Stay tuned for part two, where we will discuss Raman imaging of graphene. 